Let's do it. Let's go. All right. So my name is Lance. I'm a 21 year old entrepreneur. Um, I started in sales and a fitness sales. Um, that's where I learned the sales um, industry. You could say I did that for about two years. Um, working in the fitness industry taught me how to run a business, taught me how to build a business, and it taught me how to market a business. Um, I was doing this for another owner. I was making this other owner a lot and a lot and a lot of money. So I was like, man, why can't I do this for myself? So, you know, I took the information I learned from that company and I applied it to myself. I started my company known as Cybers and Social today. Um, I bought me a certification online, taught me everything I needed to know about the social media industry. Um, that's what I, that's what my company specializes in, in the Facebook ads, Instagram ads, oh, media campaigns, stamp, stuff like that. So I work with like the back end of Facebook, something that not, not a lot of people know about. Um, so like if you're scrolling through Facebook and you see like a sponsored post, that's where I put you. Okay. Um, but social media is something you can't really just, you know, a lot of people like to use social media, like throwing offers and specials down people's throats. And you know, that's not something you want to do. Um, social media is something you got to be creative with. You got to create compelling content. You know, if I could ask you real quick, what, uh, what, what company, what company do you own? Me? I'm with the uh, Construction Entrepreneur School and Services. Um, yeah, so I originally, uh, I'm a contractor. Okay. I do contract work. Uh, I originally stepped back from contracting to open up a school. Oh. And, uh, and in the school, I train construction individuals and companies. Okay. So uh, by being a contractor, I know where we were lacking that in training and experience okay. help. So now I'm able to provide that training um, that deals with estimating, blueprint reading, um, safety courses, OSHA 10, OSHA 30. It also, uh, uh, I help individuals obtain their contractor's license. Okay. Right? Here in California. And um, which is, which is tough to get. So doing that, um, this is what led me to reaching out to um, folks like you that have experience in the social media and Facebook ads and listings and advertising, because there's a lot of contractors out there that, that, that get into business that don't know how to do any of this. Right. All we know how to do is work with our hands. Right. Okay. So when I started out, when I got my license, the only thing they did for me was they just said, hey, you got your license. Congratulations. And they just let me go out in the field. And it was sad because I had to learn on the back of my customers. Mm -hmm. And it's good in some ways, but it's bad in other ways when you don't calculate the job right. When you right. don't know how to estimate when you don't know really about managing a business and growing a business, I'm literally learning step by step. So uh, uh, some of those situations, I ran out of money. Some of those situations, uh, it wasn't good for the customer. And I wish I had a place where I can go and get that information from so I can learn and grow my business, you know? So we're just trying to create a place where you don't have to reinvent the wheel anymore. You know, you can get this information. You, you, you have individuals out here that you can reach to help you grow. You know, all you do is have to make the call. Right. So, right. And, and that's what that's what I'm trying to provide here is uh, a place where, where people can easily connect with the services that they need. Easily connect with people that can help them, you know. So and, let's tie um, that in with social media. So how would that work with social media? So. <laughs> in order for that to happen, people are looking for convenience, okay? Um, nowadays, you know, it sounds as if you have, like, almost like an education system, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, almost like a mini university that you can provide to people. Uh, E-course, you could say. So, like, you know, for you, for your, for your contracting business, something that you would kind of want to compel with your social media. Do you, first and foremost, do you have social media platforms for your company? Oh, yeah. That's oh. where we met. We met, actually, on... Uh, Instagram. Uh, Instagram. Instagram. Through, okay. uh, yeah, through uh, DM. Through the slit, we slid in a DM. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Though. So you see, you've already got the hard part down. A lot of people don't even have the platforms. So 
the fact that you got the platforms is good. Now what we got to do with them. Now I haven't looked at your platforms or anything, but, uh, um, so what you can do, man, is you want to provide information to these people. As of right now, you want to start providing information. You know, you don't want to give away all your information. I wouldn't say you want to give away all your main key points that you teach people, but give them like little nuggets every now and then. I don't know if you've ever heard of the jab, 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 right hook. Oh, theory. Hold on, hold on. Cause that's, that's some valuable stuff right there by uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. But hold on. Let's introduce Tyler real quick. Hold on. Let's introduce <laughs> oh, Tyler real let quick. Because I'm going to let you loose, Lance. I'm going to let, <laughs> I'm gonna let <laughs> you loose here in a little bit. And uh, you're going to, you're about to drop some damn nuggets here, man. Uh, Tyler, let's, uh, let's hear a little bit about you. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Tyler. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the main event, um, So my name is Tylan Lilly. Uh, 21 year old uh, digital marketing expert. Um, my company special uh, specializes in SEO, web design, um, branding. Uh, you know, I get assistance from social media, from Lance. Um, you know, and we we basically help help your company get out there. If you um, are looking for SEO services, and what that is, is search engine optimization. Um, basically. When people type in keywords that are related to your services, I make sure you pop up. Um, and if you're in a bad place, I make sure you gradually get there. Um, there's no guaranteed first page rankings in 30 days. So whatever, whoever's telling oh. you this, you know, <laughs> there, there's no turnkey system. It, it's definitely a process. Um, you know, there's no 30 days, 60 days, 90 days first, first page rankings. Um, you know, it's possible, but, you know, if you want to stay there for the long term, um, and for longevity, you know, just, just, you got to stick it out. Um, and it does take time. It does take patience. It does take money. So that, that's just one of those things where you got to partner with someone you trust. If it's not me, just make sure they're, they're credible. Um, and you know, they're, they're ethical and doing the right things when they do have your money. Um, that's really it. Mm. It's easy to uh, to yeah. get sucked in that uh, that advertising that that says, "Hey, I can turn you around. I can make you number one on Google, right. and all I have to do is this, this, this. One, two, three. Why don't right. you just sign up and spend this three hundred dollars a month with me, right. or a thousand dollars a month with me? Right. Um, but but how do we find out if that that company is legit, Lance? How do we find out if you know, if he knows how to work those Facebook ads and, and, and bring in those leads, because as a contractor, you know, well, as any business, sales is the most important thing, right? If you're not, if you're not turning numbers, right? If I can't see immediate, immediately results, if I can't like turn these clicks and, and convert them into clicks into cash, then sometimes I just feel like I'm wasting my time. Right, right. right. So, you know, um, like he said, it does take time, especially on the SEO side, more compared to the social media, because today, today, nowadays, social media is more direct. You see everything on social media. As soon right. as it pops, you see it. Um, SEO is more of the back end. So, like, you're putting in all these different keywords and making sure that your site is relevant to what people are searching. Right. And in order for that to happen, you know, in order for your website to start ranking, enough people got to type in them keywords. You know what I'm saying? Right. So depending on the niche you're in and depending on how popular that your niche is and wherever you're living is the speed on which you're going to get ranked up. So, you know, we got to get, so how social media corresponds with SEO is we get social media, people seeing it. And then when people are seeing you, that's when they go to Google and start researching you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, this is cool. Oh, well, you know, you know, let's say you, posted a very compelling picture of your of your e-course you got going and it caught somebody's eye and then now they're like okay well that's cool so they go to google and they start researching you okay and then that's when they start that's when you start ranking up popping up and then once more people start doing that that's when your website gets to the top of google <clears throat> while we're bringing in money oh okay i, I see so yeah. the more people um click on one my keywords and my website I'm ranked higher? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So those people that are on Instagram that's clicking on my links, um, on my Facebook page that's clicking on my links to find out more about my company, it's all right. affecting my ratings. Right, right. That's, 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 why, 
That's why social media and SEO can really be powerful if used together. Hmm. Okay. So um, I think I was talking to uh, Tylen before about uh, what are some of the major issues you see with websites? Wow, I wish we could do a screen share and <laughs> I'm not, I wouldn't do like, yeah. Oh, you're going to uh, bust some yeah. websites yeah, out, I, would, huh? I, would, I don't think it allows to do this, but um, really as simple as this, you know, you can't even click the call. So how can I get your services if I can't even click to call your company? Oh, right, right, you know, right. Sometimes the quote forms in the night, not the right place. Sometimes it doesn't even have enough information to generate a lead. Um, you know, most times they can't even find you because you're not even listed properly on Google, Bing, Yahoo. They can't even find your company. Um, so many companies, you know, are, are dealing with that. Um, what's another thing? You know, content. You know, the customer, you know, nowadays the customer is reading your reviews, your ratings, um, you know, what you did last summer, you know, things like that. Um, but you don't even have any content, you know, to backtrack or even you know, tell your customer a story. It could be pictures before and after. They just want to see a roof job, but they can't even see that because you didn't even put it on your website. They can't find you. Or, you know, you know, quality could, quality is a, a thing also. You know, you know, you got the pictures, but it's not professional pictures that represent your company. Right. Um, mm-hmm. All these tie in, you know, the branding, you know, the logo. You know, you don't have a logo versus a company with the logo. You're not getting chose. You know, you're not walking, the customer is not walking you down the aisle. So, right. you know, all these tie into, you know, what, what's going wrong and how you go wrong if you, you know, shortcut, you know, your weight kind of to the top because it's, it's a very competitive market. And, you know, only the true players, you know, that are competing actually get the business at, at a consistent rate. Hmm. That's true. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. If you're shortcutting, um, you're you're holding back your sales and your growth. Right. You right. Know? And another thing that Thailand didn't mention is a website is not mobily optimized. All right. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, you no, know, a lot of websites are older generation, and you know a lot of people are doing eighty percent of people are doing searches on their phone, and you know if you they go to type in your website and they can barely read it, they got to zoom in to look at stuff. It's just not right. convenient. They probably end up leaving your page. Right. Right. And it does suck, you know, like you said, with that, uh, um, uh, especially it, I love it when I go to a website and I can click on their number right. and call from there. I don't have to memorize it, go to my right. uh, dial pad and dial it and then go back to, did I get it right? You know, it's, it's one of these like, Hey man, remember these three numbers. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. You need help with someone else to remember. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, uh, Lance with, uh, Facebook, um, I hear a lot about Facebook. We was just getting ready to get into, uh, my boy, uh, Sa- the Savage, Gary, uh, Vaynerchuk. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> jab, 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 right hood. Um, I, I read one of his books. It was, um, oh my gosh. He's got a few. Mm-hmm. It was one of, I didn't read jab, 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 right hood. It was the one where he had all the interviews where he was asking the questions. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It was that one. Um, but, um, uh, Facebook, Facebook, how important is Facebook to a business right now on an advertising standpoint? So, um, we're in 2017, man, and people are now starting to do searches. Like, you know, it used to be where if you wanted to look something up, people are searching Google. Okay, that's what it used to be. That's what it still is. But people are now starting to convert to people searching Facebook. Like, Facebook is now their search directory. Right. Right. You know, if you're looking to find information, they're going to go to Facebook and try and pull up the page. Okay. That's, that is now, that's a snowball effect that's starting to now happen. Now, a lot of people are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, but Facebook primarily is where the gold mine is because that's where the Facebook ad, the Facebook business ad manager is. Okay. Now that is the back end of Facebook. Not a lot of people know about. Okay. That is where I conduct all my ads. Okay. You know, now you're based out of what part of California? Southern California, close to San Diego. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so, you know, if you were wanting to, let's say you had an e-course that you wanted to share to the public or your local community, and you were ready to push this thing, you know, what I would do is I'd go into the back end of Facebook, 
and I would target, you know, let's just say you want to target two, a 200 mile radius of where you're at. Okay. I would target San Diego within a 200 mile radius. Anybody within 200 miles is going to see this ad of San Diego. Okay. And the content could be whatever. It could be a picture that you're posting. It could be a video you're posting. Okay. It could be it. The content doesn't matter. It just has to be compelling. It's got to catch somebody's eye. Yeah, right. You can tie Lopez it. Yeah. Do <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of Ty Lopez? Oh yeah. I never really followed him, but yeah. yeah he's, actually like the, he's actually the guy I got my certification from. Oh, okay. I was hearing about that course. We we can talk about that course a little bit later. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, um, he, he, he knows what he's talking about. He, he actually knows, he, he knows a lot, but, uh, but you know, even if you're searching Google, you know how you see Ty Lopez's head pop up or Grant Cardone's head pop up somewhere like on the side, left, right of the page. Right. And yeah, they're doing that as well. Um, but Facebook, primarily your question was about Facebook. Um, Facebook to businesses nowadays is huge um, because everybody's on Facebook. You know, people are posting on Facebook every day. Um, uh, there was a statistic that I read out of Gary Vee's book. I don't remember the statistic, but there's like over a million posts a day on Facebook. Now, wow. Facebook, there, there is a lot of posts, though. That's one thing you got to keep in mind. You know, Facebook posting, you could say, could be becoming saturated because there's so many posts going out. That's why they created the Facebook ads manager. Now, the Facebook ads manager puts you up yeah. in front with the sponsored posts. Okay, but now Facebook, you got to be able to compete with their algorithm. Now, their algorithm is like, let's say I, I posted a picture at 10, 10 a.m. and you posted a picture at 12 p.m. I posted my picture first, so everybody who goes to Facebook should see my picture first, right? No. Let's say you posted your picture at 12 p.m., but you got 10, 15, 20, 30 likes and 15 comments, and I only got three likes your picture is going to be up on top because you're getting the most engagement. Okay. And that goes with anybody who likes or is affiliated with your page. Now that's just, if you post, if you do a targeted ad, I can literally target people who are interested in learning about contracting or whatever it is that you're teaching your students right. or whatever it is. We can hyper target people who are interested in Facebook. Facebook knows all this data and analytics. I can target people who are interested in what you sell and what your services are within a 200 yeah. hour of San Diego. Uh, uh, you know, Facebook is so fine at targeting. You can tar target the same mom with a minivan as one <laughs> pinky toe. <laughs> are you serious? That still wears a ring and you'll have an audience. <laughs> well, look, look, look at this. I, I had a challenge when I uh, was doing Facebook ads uh, last year around some time. And the challenge I had was um, finding unlicensed contractors, mm. right? So it, it was just, yeah, it was just tough to uh, to target that because no one is really putting that in their bio, you know, like, hey, I'm a unlicensed contractor here, Nobody you know? Nobody wants to say that, you know what I mean? Nobody wants to say that. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right. So it was tough. I think uh, one of the things I had to do was kind of just search for construction workers, you know, yeah. maybe, right. maybe uh, construction managers, you know, and then, and just hope that they, you know, you know, I can, you know, appeal to them to get their contractor's license. Like, Oh yeah, I did want to get my license. I'm in the construction industry, you know, but I really wanted to target, you know, specifically those unlicensed guys that are already doing the work and ready to buy, you know, right. Those right, guys right. are my, my target audience. And that was that was tough. That was real tough to uh to narrow down there. Right. But um um with uh Lance there, um um let's continue on with that jab, 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 right hook, um, which you was gonna get into if you uh if you can recall. So um actually it kind of plays into with what you were just saying. So jab, mm -hmm. jab, jab, right hook. Um so what Gary Vee is trying to portray in that book is that, like I was saying from the beginning, you can't just throw right hooks to your audience all the time. And what he means by a right hook is um, discounts, offers, specials, whatever your company's offering to the public, maybe at a discounted rate. That is what that would be your right hook. Okay, but we all know if you're McGregor, you go in with Mayweather and you 
constantly throwing right hooks, you're going to get worn out. You're going to you're going to get tired, and get knocked out. Right. So a jab, jab, jab. Those jabs are setting up your right hook. Okay. So what I meant by those jabs is like you're giving away some information. So give away maybe one jab could be you know something that you give away in one of your e courses that really isn't a huge topic, but it could be something to us unlicensed contractor be like oh damn i didn't know that right you know i mean and then when you do that three times it's like the power of three you know when you hear something three times it's like oh i heard that three times you know what i mean right. so when you give three different main keys to your e-course to an unlicensed contractor they're like oh wow this 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 certification place knows what they're talking about so they'll click on your link to read more blah 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 they'll go through your stuff now now we got somebody on your website Okay. Just because now you're giving away credible information. Okay. And when you do that two to three times and that person sees that two to three times, it's like, okay, wow, these person, these people are consistent. They know what they're talking about. Okay. And then when you throw that right hook, 20% off certification today, they're going to buy from you. Okay. Jab, you know? jab, jab. Right, right hook. Right. So you, it's like, you want to, you don't want to be like, 20% off, 20% off, 30% off. It, it, it looks like a scam. It looks like you're just trying to sell people. Yeah. Um, but you gotta, you gotta be able to, you gotta put your process yourself in a position to sell. And, and when you do that, your services have, have the potential of being undervalued. Yes. You know, is, why is it so, why right. is it so discount? You know, <laughs> right. they 50% off the, of the whole year. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right about that. It makes me very right. like, what? Yeah. Another, right. another sales? Right. No. By no means you should not devalue your product. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how much your courses or anything are, but if they're a thousand dollars, make me believe that they're a thousand dollars. Okay. You know, or more. you're supposed to make them believe they're more. Yeah. Make them believe right. that the they're value. more. Yeah. The value oh. of the course. <laughs> right. Right. So, you know, you want to be able to provide enough information, more information, in the price point and then when you start doing that when they start seeing more value than what you're asking for it's like wow this is a no-brainer i should have mm -hmm. i should have got my license three years ago right so so let me ask you this with that and and let's say you know receiving that content and one of the students here that was like oh well you know what i need to start doing facebook ads i need to start doing you know more compelling photos and everything like that what do you say tyler to 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 that individual that's like hey you know what this do-it-yourself game, this do-it-yourself market is so strong. I can't do it myself. Let me go out here and do it. What are some of the drawbacks to doing it yourself, trying to tackle this thing down and bring in sales? You know, you know, this is this is a thing a lot of uh, a lot of owners do. They they do it themselves, then they realize they don't have enough time to do it themselves, so they delegate it to right. another admin who really doesn't have experience in it. They're like, oh. I'm just getting a paycheck. Let me just put anything up. So you, your business cannot be treated that way. Um, if I'm if I'm living in Alaska and you know I want a I want an igloo, I'm not just hiring anybody. I want somebody that's professional igloo builder. You know, if I'm if I you know if I want a hut, you know, and you know wherever I'm living, um, I want someone that's professional. You know, they know what they're doing, and my hut's not going to blow down. You know, when catastrophe comes. You know, if I want a you know quality house. I'm not, I don't want builders great. I want the top notch products that can go on that house. So it's really based, you know, what you pay for is what you get. If you go cheaper, you get the cheaper, you know, quality work. But if you, you know, go in the median between high, you're going to get that higher quality work. And that's where exactly you want to be. You want to, you know, have someone, you know, that delivers the content that can give you structure, that can put the strategy together and that can also implement it you know, and tie everything in, you can pretty much know, you know, if a person is BSing or they know what they're talking about or they know what they're doing. Um, you know, I just said three different things right there, but it's, <laughs> you know, it, um, but you, you really got to have an eye and, you know, feel for that person. You never, if, when you're in a deal with, you know, someone that does digital marketing, you never want to feel like, oh, I'm giving this person a chance. You want to, cause like that, a chance, you, you, does that make sense? You know, yeah. <laughs> so, I have felt like that before. Like, hey, let me give this person a chance. Yeah. yeah, don't. That's not how you want to be. You know, in this field, because like three months down the road, down the road, and three thousand dollars later, 
are you still gonna give that person a chance or you be are you, are you gonna be kind of like hey man like <laughs> you're not, you're not, right, exactly you're he, what he's saying is you true. know um so that that's that's how you want to be you know what you want you want to go with the expert to answer your question what do you say that uh, about that, Lance? About that this do-it-yourself market here, because it's strong. I mean, drag and yeah. click, drag and drop, and and, right. and post this Facebook here, and Facebook make it easy too. Facebook like, hey, you can do it yourself. Create yeah. an event, promote right. it. You know, create, promote your ad, right? <laughs> but one thing I do before I answer your question: don't ever click boost post. Don't do that, man. That's just a way that Facebook's trying to make quick money. No, don't do it. Don't boost post. Like if you post something and it says boost post, don't yeah, it do that. says boost for seventy two hundred people in your area right now. They're selling you right there. They're selling you right there. That's, that's it. because boost you when you boost something you can't hyper target like we were talking about. Earlier. You can't really right. you can't really go in and hyper target your audience. It just boosts the people in your location. Yeah, and, you know you have a very niche market. You're looking for specific people to look at your content. And when right. you just boost the post, nobody's going to see, you know what I mean? Because you're not, you're, you're not in a niche where everybody's constantly looking you right. up. You know what right. I'm saying? So boosting a posting your, on your end would be bad. Okay. okay. But anyways, to answer your question about do it on your own, um, you know, like Ty Lynn was saying, it does take time. You know, there is a lot of stuff. It is, you know, social media, you know, we do work from our laptops, but it is almost like a full-time job. You know, we are making sure that your ad campaigns are running the way they should be. You know, if I'm putting advertise, if you're giving me money and I'm putting advertising dollars into your ad, I need to make sure that the ad's performing the way it should. Right. You know, right. uh, if I boost and if I promote an ad for you and it's not bringing you people or bringing you clicks or bringing you website reviewers, I got to go in and figure out what I did wrong. Um, you know, find the expert. You know, how do I find the expert? Well, you look up their result, you know, look up what they've done, ask them what they've done. Can you show me what you've done in the past? Can you, you know, show me results you've brought to them in the past? Um, you know, if, if it's an established business, they should be able to willingly do that for you. Um, if it's, and if they say, oh, this information is closed, I'm not allowed to give other client clientele information. That's understandable. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Expert, expert to expert. How do you find another person's expert? <laughs> how do you find another so you want to seek the right information by you know it's kind of hard man because we live in a time where we live in a time where anything can be posted anything can be said yes <laughs> right anything can be said anything can be posted so you know if somebody if if i were to be put in that situation i'd be like man show me what you've done show me what you've right. done so that's so all there is to that, it. that's a good question because you know from a non-expert Right. How right. do I find the expert? Right. How yeah. do I, how do I know? How do I like, man, the, the ads look good, right? He can, he can be right. a good salesman, right. but you know, as far as the back end doing actual work, he don't know what he's doing at all. But how, like, what do I do? What do I, do I, uh, do I, do I give him a chance? <laughs> you know, what, what, what do I do? Do I, I mean, not everyone out here is out here like, Hey, let me, let me prove myself to you and right. the service for free. And if you make money, then you can pay me, you know, right. not everybody's like that. Right. Everybody wants to get paid. So how do I say, Hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and choose this individual because his website is just glorious. It's right. his bright colors. And you well, know. Uh, you can go ahead, Tyler. And I got something to add on to that. Yeah. So, you know, when I said that, you know, it has to be within reason. Like, I'm not just saying give him a chance. If you feel like, oh, I'm going to give him a chance to do business because he's glorious and, you know, he does great work. When I said that, you know, make sure you don't have an amateur, you know, kind of uh, navigating your business on the digital side. You know, if you got someone that, you know, is, you know, sharp on all edges, you know, higher, he charges a little more. You know, it's not one of those give him a chance type deals. It's one of those like, man. I got to bone up and, you know, stand up because this guy here is, can help me. He can help me. It's not going to be for free. There's no 30 day trial. Maybe there is, but if there is take advantage of it, but you know, you, you want to kind of kind of come to your senses, you know, when it's, when it's money time, you, you know, your insides are going to be boiling, but you got to end up trusting that person, you know? Um, 
some of these marketing, well, most marketing companies will have you in a six to 12 month contract. You know, see if you can go month to month, see if you can go three months, even if the price is higher, see, see if you can shorten up the term Hold on here. to see if you can um, get results, you know, speed to results. Well, um, uh, go ahead, Lance. Okay. Uh, what I was going to say is, you know, how you can find if somebody's credible or not <clears throat> is how, how do they market their own company? You right. Know what I mean? If, if, you know, if you're, if you're paying me money to market you, you know, how well can I market myself? You know, how, how, you know, you could do your research on their company, um, you know, see what they're posting, you know, see how they're posting and the oh manner they're posting from, you know, the content is, is the, is my content compelling? You know, is it catching, is it getting a lot of engagement, you know, because that alone, if they can market themselves correctly, then, you know, they, they should be able to market anybody else. Right, 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 right. That is a good one there. That's a good one there. Because it, it is. I mean, it, like you said, it, the Facebook ads and postings, it's a million a day. It's a million digital marketers out there, too, you know. So it's yeah. it, it's all over the place here. Um, I want to ask you this. Um, I, I want to get back to uh, um, Facebook and Instagram, right? Um, okay. Which is more popular? I mean, where, where, as a let's say as a contractor or just as a small business owner, right? I don't have a lot of time to put into this, so I need to hire someone, right? But for the time that I do have, because I want my pictures and my photos and my and my videos to be of me, you know, authentic, right? Uh, like, like, what should I focus my attention on? Should I be on Facebook? Should I be on Twitter? Should I be on Instagram? Yeah. You know, I'll go first on this one, Lance. It's kind of like when you first start dating, but, but you're always going to, you know, you know, kind of you, you see different people and, you know, um, you know, you're going to be with this person this day, that person this day. You want to yeah. be with everybody on every day. You know, nobody gets jealous because the thing about it is the social media world is so big that your two posts don't even matter. Right. You know, versus a million posts, you want to at least be posting, you know, five to ten times a day. You know, just, and that's still not enough. So you want to be hitting everything. You know, you know, and you, know, you want to be hitting everything all at once, multiple times a day. Wow. So wow. Like, you know, there's no, there's no one that's better than the other because I get business from Facebook, Instagram, get some from Twitter, you know, <laughs> you know, it's coming from all ends because I'm, you know, kind of twisting the wrenches and seeing, you know, what, what can I actually pull from this thing? You can go to Lance. Yeah, um, he's, he's not wrong. You know, you you being on more platforms is only going to help you. Uh, but, you know, if you did, you know, if, the, if if you're in a situation where you do have to choose between one and the other. Uh, well, first of all, Facebook owns Instagram. So they both work together, which is cool. When you run a Facebook ad, it also you also have the option for it to pop up on Instagram. Um, but you got to also keep in mind, man, Instagram is for a certain type of people. And Facebook's also for a certain type of people. Right. You know, Instagram is a lot of pictures and videos. So right. you want to make sure you can use correct photos that's relevant to your industry to catch somebody's eye. You know what I mean? If you're using Instagram, okay? if you're using Facebook, it's more of like a knowledge. It's more of like a, you know, learning platform. So that's where you throw out all your information, your, your, your maybe bullet points that you're giving your audience for Facebook. Okay. But if you're running an ad, obviously use as many platforms as you can. Okay. So you can boost out an ad to as many people as you can. Um, but Instagram and Facebook, you know, it, as Thailand said, use as many as you can, but if time is the virtue, um, which one I would recommend in your industry, in your industry, I'd probably recommend Facebook. You're going to have more success in Facebook than you would Instagram. Facebook. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's tough. I mean, um, you, I, I, you know, even myself, I feel the pressure like, Oh my gosh, I haven't posted, you know, I need <laughs> something. Snap, snap a picture, something, something that I need to put, you know? Uh, um, and, and yeah. yeah, I just have to put something. So it, it makes me feel the pressure that I'm falling behind if I don't put three or five pictures up a day. Um, you know what that is? Customer. That's yourself telling yourself that, man. Come on, you better than this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know it does help when you, you know, when you, when you, when you're meeting great people on there too, as well. Right. You know, you're feeling like, hey, I'm, I'm just falling behind. You know, but um, 
let me ask both of you guys, what are the upcoming changes you see in this social media and digital marketing world? I mean, we have had, you know, Snapchat pop up. We didn't even talk about Snapchat, you know, but we have had all these, you know, these apps are coming up. I mean, everything, you know, uh, 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 Gary's out there doing um, uh, uh, more podcasts now. You know, I see him doing podcasts. So, so what is upcoming here? Where, where, where is this going? Where do you see this industry going? Yeah, um, this whole thing is like the shiny object theory. You know, when something pops up and it goes away, if something pops up, right. it goes away. But as it pops up and it's floating, you want to be on it. Because th there's always potential there because your buyers, your ideal customers are, you want to be at wherever the money is. If you're not there, you're not in the money. You're going to be obsolete with your business. Right. You're going to be slow coming. You can always say, keep me in your prayers. Baby, I'm late on the bills. Yeah. Baby, you know, you know, just it's just gonna be that 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 cry. You yeah. know, if you, you don't take it serious, money, money is like a jealous lover. You know, if you don't pay attention to it, it's not gonna be yours. Right. And you gotta be where the money is. That's yeah. it. What do you say <laughs> to that, Lance? Um, you know, it's definitely something, it's a, it's a wave right now, you know, the right. digital marketing right now is a huge wave and you got to be able to ride on it. And it's, you know, in my eyes where I see it going, it's going to be riding for a while. Um, you know, yeah. I do see, I, in the future, in the next decade or so, I do see building or, you know, business.